morning. The 15 on your weight, is that for the bar and everything? Yes. And then the blue the pieces, clips, the clips. Are cool, there. I'll take that. Perfect. Yay. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Thank, Thank, you Thank you so much. So much. Good luck to you. Yeah. Yeah. Morning. I'm gonna get this shelf and this jacket. I'll just set them right here. Let me put these at the table while you look. Or? Oh, sure, that'll be fine. Thank oh, you. Oh, you're the one who was here yesterday. No, no, what oh, someone me. else had oh, the camera. Did they? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Another YouTuber? Yes, yes. <laughs> Excellent, thank you. You've got 20 cents a piece on your Life magazines. If I just bought them all, would you do a dime a piece? Talk to Dad, Hill, or Diane. <laughs> what, they're ta asking about the Life magazines. She's in charge. Okay. In charge. We have different sections. Gotcha, I'm gotcha. The cool guy. She's the life, the life, life of the, the party. Life, the life. He asked if he bought them all. We just sold them for ten cents. I think how many I had there. I wrote that down somewhere. Oh, this is you're cool. calculating. I was calculating. Oh, that was sheet music. Yeah, that was sheet music. Um, Let me just get a proximate. Yeah, sure. Times. Okay, that pile had a little over 40. And that's a little less. Okay, so let's see that. How about 20 bucks? Sure, let's do it. I got this as well and a few oh, other things okay. too, so I owe you. Oh, I thought that was really cute. I thought it was yeah. too. <laughs> 23. Let's see. You have a 350, 375. There's 24. There you go. Don't worry about the quarter. Okay. okay I think okay. I've got some bags in the car I can actually use to load these okay. if it makes it easier. What? What? Where? Damn it, you're not going to do this to me all day. Listen. Seems like I know you, Josh. Do I? I think I was here at your community. I was going to say either that or I thought I, I like, recognized Nice 20 a piece? No. How much were they? 40. 40 piece. Oh, I go see. Okay. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. If I start at 20, you're going to say 15 and 10. Well, I, I, I had asked. She said 20, so I wasn't sure. Right. Okay, cool, cool. Excuse me. Sorry. Well, that's an antique. How much is your mixer? What do you offer? Oh, no. You're not going to make me do that, are you? Well, you know what? I don't know what they're <laughs> worth, so... Um, I'd do 20 bucks on it. All right, maybe. Okay. Like your Budweiser sign, how much is that? I start at 50. 50 bucks on that? Yep. Here you go, I can lift it up okay. and set it in there. I'll just leave it there and keep looking around, see what else I can find. How much for your bowls? How much you want for your bowls, Mom? What do you want me to give me? Oh. Up or down? How about five? I'll take five. Please. All right. Thank you, Mom. There you go, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good morning. Have a good day. I almost made it without buying something. There you go. Thanks Thank so much. You. Good luck with your sale. Yes. You too.
I'm back at my shop and I didn't find a ton of stuff today, but I'm pretty happy with what I did find. I got a set of three Pyrex bowls with the lids. It seems very rare that I find the lids. Fortunately, one of them's cracked. I only paid five bucks for the three. And as a set, these are going anywhere from like 50 to 70 bucks. So really happy with that buy. Got this vintage Bantam bag. I almost left this sale and as I was walking, it caught my eye. Really clean, has an awesome look to it. Only paid $2. And some of these vintage Bantam bags are going for about 25, 30, sometimes upwards of 40 bucks. Got an old kazoo, new in the package for a quarter. Thought it might have some value. Couldn't find the same one, but the fact that it's an actually branded kazoo, I thought was pretty cool. I don't know. Might just keep it. Got this vintage Rotel receiver for 20 bucks. And these don't have a very high sell through rate, unfortunately. I did see one sell for 250 bucks, so I'm hoping mine works. Not really sure what I can get for it since there's a lot more active listed than actually sold. And I don't know that Rotel is a really sought after receiver, but for 20 bucks, I had to grab that. I got this cool strawberry shortcake bookshelf for $3. It is actually licensed. It's got the uh, copyright and everything on there. I'm not gonna be able to sell this on eBay just because of the size. But I'll try to flip it local for 30 40 bucks. We'll see. I've got two full IKEA bags of vintage life magazines. Um, honestly, I cannot recommend <laughs> that you go out and buy these things. Uh, there's magazines in general are not a great seller. If you can get them really cheap, I think it's worth getting them if it's all the same. Uh, it's the same magazine. Uh, so these are all from the 60s and 70s. I'm into them for 20 bucks, and there's a few hundred in here. So right around like 10 cents a piece, and that's kind of what I was trying to get them for. These do sell for about $1.50 each when you lot them up. The tricky part is they're going to have some weight to them, and you can't ship them medium mail because they're magazines. So I'm going to lot them up in like groups of 20, probably 15, 20, something like that, so the weight isn't too high. And they might be a slow seller, but I do think there's some money to be made. I also bought those weights and Olympic barbell, the seven foot barbell. I paid 15 for those. I already sold them on Facebook Marketplace for $100. If you come across plate weights like that, dumbbells, pick them up. The prices of that stuff went really high during the pandemic and they've kind of stayed high. That is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>